I'm Andrea Allen. I'm the co-founder of Onyx Coffee Lab. I'm the 2020 U.S. Barista Champion and the 2021 World Runner-Up Barista Champion. But beyond that, I just love coffee and I love beverages and I love the fact that anytime we're having a really great conversation, it's almost always over a beverage. So I want to show you today how to make a drink that I really love. And this particular iteration is called the Moonlight FOMO. FOMO is exactly what it sounds like. It's the fear of missing out. But this drink is amazing. It is completely built on tying florality together across beverages and across ingredients. So we have three different floral players today. We've got the Moonlight Tea from Onyx, which basically has like incredible sweetness. It's a white tea and it has tons of floral going on. The tea is gonna make an appearance both in the body of the beverage and also as an aromatic spritz across the top. The second floral player is the Framley Coffee from Onyx. This coffee has tons of berry sweetness in it, but also has a little bit of florality. And the third floral player is Uncle Val's Botanical Gin. So this gin, super floral, really tasty. It works great in a gin and tonic. It also works great with coffee. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is brew the tea. So this particular tea recipe is four grams of tea to 400 grams of water usually. I'm just going to pour 200 grams of water because I want it to be a little bit concentrated. It's gonna act as an ingredient in this beverage, so I don't want the tea to get washed out by any of the other ingredients going on. So I'm going to steep it for four minutes, 200 grams water, four grams tea. So you might be kind of thinking like, I'm not a tea person, I don't have tea at home. This drink actually works really great without tea as well. If you don't have tea, you can just sub in hot water. That creates more of like a, just a straight up Americano base in the drink. Um, but I prefer tea in this particular iteration. Okay, so my first step is gonna be, while I'm waiting for the tea to brew, I'm gonna put about a half ounce of honey in the bottom. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. This is a place where you can kind of be mobile in this drink build recipe with your flavor and with your level of sweetness. So for me, the tea is already gonna be kind of sweet, so I don't want this drink to be ultra sweet. So I just put about a half ounce. If you really like sweetness, you can bump it up to three quarters an ounce or a full ounce. You can also use something really simple like vanilla syrup or anything like that to kind of tweak the drink to be what you would like. Now I'm gonna brew my espresso. So if you're at home and you have a bag of our coffee, you can just scan the bag and the recipe will go into the machine and it'll taste exactly like it tastes like here today. Basically all you have to do is hit the button and your espresso is made. All right, so I'm at the four minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and decant my tea. All right, I'm also gonna split the tea at this point. So I want to put some of the tea in the bottom and I'm gonna put about like, probably about three ounces in the bottom. But I'm also gonna put the tea in this little spritzer because I want to have some aromatic play to help draw the tea out of the bottom as well. Um, one of the like really incredible things about flavor is that a lot of our flavor and food and beverage experiences are informed by everything that we're smelling. So in this drink, the tea plays as a flavor component. It also plays as like a carrier for the espresso and the gin, and it plays as an aromatic. Okay, we're ready. So I'm just gonna use one shot of espresso in this drink. Again, if you wanna like have a more coffee forward flavor, you can always use two, but for me, I'm always searching for balance. So there is a really great balance of the floral, the bitter, the sweet, and then of course the gin and this drink. So for me, I think one ounce is great. It's also a pretty small drink build too. So I don't wanna get it too, too intense. All right, so that's about half of my espresso. I usually like to put the espresso right on top of the honey just so that I can like get it really dissolved. My next step is gonna be to pour in about two ounces of tea. So here I'm looking to just like raise the level of the drink itself. I may put just a little bit more in there, um, but I'm gonna put the gin in first. So basically at this point what you have is an Americano 
sweetened with honey, but made with tea. It's pretty interesting. Again, I'm just gonna add about an ounce of gin. This is a really great place for you to play with like exactly how you want the beverage to turn out. But again, what I'm looking for here is balance. So I'm not looking for like one particular ingredient to be the super player. I'm wanting it all to like cohesively go together and be really floral, sweet, and balanced when you're drinking. So I'm gonna add a little bit more tea because the remaining ingredient in the drink is the cold shaken foam. Cold shaken foam is incredible. Basically what it does is this drink is both warming from the spirit, warm temperature, really great flavors on the bottom. And it contrasts both texturally and also the temperature with the cold shaken foam on the top. So the cold shaken foam, I don't want too much of it because it can get really heavy and kind of override the flavor of the drink. This smells amazing. Okay, cold shaken foam, one of my favorite things to do. Basically, I'm using the coconut cream for, for flavor for, and for weight. It's super heavy. And then I'm using heavy cream just so that I can get, capture enough air to make it fluffy. It is still gonna be super heavy though. So the cold and the cold shaken foam just simply comes from the ingredients being refrigerated. This is a no ice shake. So it's a dry shake using the shaker bowl. So when you're shaking with ice, you always have like a tiny bit of melt, which is usually intentional. But for this, I don't wanna add any more water or liquid to the beverage because I already have all the liquid I need in the cup right now. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a half ounce of gin on the top. This is my favorite part of this drink build, which is like the really uncomfortable long amount of time that you have to shake. So really like the success and texture of your foam is gonna be dependent on how much you shake it. The liquid inside is super heavy. So as you shake it over those shaker balls, it's going to help air form into, into the fat and the heavy cream and the coconut cream. It's always, it's always a journey. <laughs> All right, so now what I wanna do is just slowly layer the foam over the drink. It is the difference in temperature that is gonna help keep the foam and the drink separate, but it's also kind of like the speed at which I'm pouring it. So I also want to think about like the way that this drink looks. So what I'm gonna do is like shellac the top of it with powdered sugar. I want just like a slick, glossy, matte looking top. And then, final step, I'm gonna spray a little bit of the tea over the top, and you're done. To get this recipe, pick up a box of Framley in the Marketplace and scan, and tag at Spin and at Onyx Coffee Lab when you make this coffee at home so we can see all of the creations that you're making. Cheers.